Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing the Stock Swoosh Show Live Trading Room Advanced Trader Tracking for 2019. First six months of the year, year to date results this year have been good. 281,351. So, going into the second part of the year, her July earnings season starts in July. Looking forward to continue these results through the end of this calendar year. If you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So our earnings season starts in July. It's a week of July 17th or 15th. Yeah, that, that week of the 15th is when it starts. And we get a lot of stocks and companies reporting their earnings. It's a good time to trade. Lots of money, lots of momentum. And that's when you really can hit it hard with your trades and you want to play volatility and you want to play momentum. So the year started off, took a couple days off, then was a spy. Sometimes I do a retake. I'm usually focused on one thing a day here, which you can see for all of these picks. First trade in the spy lost, second one worked, then was off for a few days. Lulu was a winner, Netflix winner. SIG, three shots, one loser, two winners. AXP lost, QQQs won. Market closed on the 21st. SWK was a nice winner. Gosh, that was, we haven't looked at that, I don't think, since then. 23rd was a winner. COF, MKC loser, QQQ's winner, Starbucks small winner. CAT was a winner, GME was a winner. 30th, T, first trade loser, second one winner. QQQ's first trade loser, second one winner, SPY winner. 31st, X winner, Q's winner, and V was a loser. No trades on the first and fourth, off on the fifth. EA was a loser, Twitter was a winner. Carb needed a retake, first trade loser, second one winner. No trades on the 11th, UAA loser, guild winner, spy winner. 13th, Tiva lost, spy first trade loser, second one winner. So sometimes that happens, and well, I teach that in the, in the class about retakes. It's like what to look for, <clears throat> you know, you have to have the conviction and the confirmation after the first trade does not work. And, and sometimes we get it, sometimes we don't. Uh, 14th was NTAP, lost both trades. MGM was a winner. Cisco was a loser. SPY was a winner on the 15th. Market closed the 18th, WMT was a winner. CVS, first trade loser, second one winner. DPZ was a winner, KHC was a winner, room closed on the 25th. CAT was a loser, HD was a loser, SJM was a loser. 27th was WTW winner, HPQ winner. Spy first trade loser, second one big winner. Q's was a loser, the fourth TV day off the fifth. Trip first trade loser. And that just did not work, that trip. Target first trade loser, second one winner. KR was a winner. Cost first trade loser, second one big winner. No trades on the 11th, Stitch Fix, two trades. Both losers off of the 13th. DJ first trade loser, second one nice winner. 15th, no trades. OST key lost by first trade was a loser, got off of it. Facebook was a big winner. DSW was a winner the 19th. FDX, three trades, two losers, one winner. 21st GS, loser, CSIQ winner. Nike was a winner, no trades the 25th and 26th TV day off. Len was a loser in the first trade, second and third worked. Lulu was a winner on the 28th, 29th off, SPY was a winner. On April 2nd, WBA, two trades lost, one worked, Q's winner. Fourth, uh, or the April 3rd was Q's winner and SPY winner and 4-4 four, four to 4-5 four, off. Now, all of these trades are gaps, for those of you that don't know. These are all gaps, okay, all the trades. It doesn't matter if it's day trades, but we're talking about the day trades here, or options. All the trades I do, are I'm looking at the gap, okay? I'm looking at the gap and I'm rating the gap. 4-8 was BA was a winner, 4-9 uh, BA lost, Disney won, 4-10 Disney lost, two trains, QQQs was a winner, SPY was a winner, 11th BBBY was a loser, WTW winner, 12th Disney, two trains winners, both, 4-15 QQQ was a loser, second one winner, Disney loser, second one winner, 4-16 break even on Qs and BAC was a winner. 17th IBM loser, Q's loser, Q's winner, Apple winner, room closed the 18th and 19th. Apple was a small winner, Facebook winner on the 22nd, Twitter big winner on the 23rd. IRBT was a nice gap, two nice winners. Big move in that one. 
425 Mo was a winner, and then M was a loser. XL next big winner, two trades. 426 INTC was a loser, WTC was a winner. 29th, no trades. 30th, GLW loser, WI loser, MGM winner, two trades. Apple, big winner in the first that started out a nice month. 5-2 uh, was HLF, two losers. 5-3, ATB loser, FTNT loser, QQQ's winner, and SPY winner. Fast was a loser, and Nike was a winner in the sixth. SPY winner, both trades. DDD winner in the eighth. Q's was a winner, SPY winner, SYMC loser, and SPY winner in the tenth. 13th was SPY winner, TIVA winner. No trades in the 14th. TIVA was a winner, SPY was a loser. SWKS was a winner, and Baidu a big winner in the 17th. Baidu two winners on the 20th. KSS was a winner in the 21st. Low was a winner, two winners. Baidu winner, JWN, active day in the 22nd. When the gaps are there, you gotta do them. QQQ winner on the 23rd. Off for the Memorial Day holiday. Facebook winner on the 3rd. TV day the 4th, no trades the 5th. Baidu loser, AEO winner on the 6th. Domo was a winner on the 7th. Lily was a winner. CRM was a winner on the 10th. HDS loser. Lily big winner on the 11th. Q's break even. Facebook winner 12th. 13th Facebook loser. Twitter winner. 14th AVO, AVGO loser. Break even Q's. 17th no trades. 18th Disney lost. Hib won. Adobe was a winner on the 19th. CCL was a nice gap on the 20th. 21st spy loss. CCL won. BYMD winner. No trades the 24th. Baidu on the 25th worked. BYND was a loser on the 26th. Mu won. CAG winner on the 27th. And no trades the 28th. So for those of you that don't know, an advanced trader risk, I say 2,000, but some trades were a slightly less risk. But that's an advanced trader risk. So if you split this in half, if you divide it by four or three, again, that's what you can expect then for your results just looking at these trades. Still a really, really, really uh, very profitable year again. So if you're doing this because you want to do this for a career, you work for yourself. You day trade from home. You would be do the gap class. You would join the room. You must join the room in order to be in. Uh, you must do the class in order to join the room and be in the room actively. The room is open from 8.30 to about 10.30. I say 11. Some days we're open to 11, but a lot of days we're done with the room by 10.15, 10.30. Trades set up quick. Looking at these trades, a lot of these trades were very fast trades. In and out in minutes. I call it chunking it out. You chunk it, chunk it, chunk it. Okay. This isn't this isn't long-term investing. You're go in, you take it, take it, and take it. Okay. So I teach a course, it's called the Golden Gap course. It's one strategy that I do for everything. Okay. And you learn it in this weekend class. It's July 13th and 14th, 9 to 5 Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $59.99 US dollars. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you want to sign up. I would definitely sign up early, all right? Make sure to secure your spot. Then I have a combo offer, $64.99. Classes online. You save $500 by doing the classes together. So now I have a July 4th offer I'm offering for the Golden Gap courses. This is a great deal. You sign up for the class, pay normal price. you got to sign up by July 8th. Okay, for the July 4th offer, you have plenty of time to sign up, plenty of time to email me, ask me questions, whatever you need to call me on the phone. You get the newsletter and the trading room free through 1231. Classes online, can be anywhere in the world again and take it. And if you want to just sign up for the options letter, it's 2500 through 930. So three months for $2,500, no prerequisites for this. And you get the options trades. So these trades were the day trades. The options trades are different trades. They get emailed to you for the newsletter. Better value to sign up for the year for $49.99 a year. So it's up to you. Some nice offers here. A great, great year. I'm very excited this year. I've been very focused, very in point. Extremely focused. Earnings season starts in July, and that's very exciting. After the holiday week, email me at melissathestockswoosh.com if you have questions. If you want to sign up for the Golden Gap course, if you want to learn my method, it works. I have a consistently profitable system, and I am just been doing this so long now. I'm really thrilled. I have so many traders now that are doing well. It's very exciting, um, and, uh, and, and it's just been a good year. So email me if you have any questions. I'll be around. Have a great, great weekend, everybody.